Guys, I'm so excited. Here we are a week into this project. It's Saturday afternoon. I'm just amazed at how much fun I've been having with this video project, um, with this vlogging, and um, the way that I've seen you, Jordan, and Annie come on board and join me in this vision I have of uh, being on YouTube, being in real and authentic dialogue, and um, just exploring things that I think for a long time we just haven't explored or haven't been willing to talk about. But here we are, and things are going phenomenal. I look forward to uh, working more with you guys and exploring this um, concept of built together. And you posed a oh, deep question. What is beauty? And uh, along with that, what are we as guys attracted to in a woman? I think really is what your question came down to. And I'm really excited to to explore this and share with this, my thoughts on this. And I feel like I have to break it down into two different parts. Um, I want to first talk about um, what I'm attracted to in uh, someone of the opposite sex and then what I think beauty is and uh, probably get myself in trouble a little bit uh, because I, uh, I'm i different than everybody else. So you get what you ask for. So I'm going to start with uh, what I'm attracted to in someone of the opposite sex uh, in a woman. And I love, there seems to be this revolution going on in the world and on YouTube. Um, so many of my friends, so many of the people I watch are doing some incredibly cool things. They're talking about um, the Gardner sisters, for example. Uh, they have this um, Be Real Beauty campaign going on. Uh, they're asking their friends, both guys and girls, what is real beauty? And I love some of the, the responses. Um, Alex G's is one of my particular favorites about how um, beauty is just an inner thing that um, that you are from who you are and, and beauty starts on the inside and then that comes to an external and I love that and I love um, that knowing who you are and I think really um, what I'm most attracted to in a girl is seeing someone who knows who they are and isn't afraid to be who they are And there's so much to this, and, and I'm so thankful that God designed this the way that he did. Um, the Father Ladder, for example, if you don't know what that is, go Google it. It's an amazing tool. Um, but in the Father Ladder, um, the Father instills beauty uh, into his daughter. Um, and, and, and so um, to see somebody that, that gets that they are a princess, that they are made for something great, um, that they can do anything um, is really one of the most attractive things that I've, I've ever, the most attractive qualities I've ever seen in a girl. Um, and, and quite frankly, um, if I can be honest and real, um, it's something that lacks in this society. Um, I wish, I wish fathers were better at telling their, their, their girls how beautiful they are and how much of a princess they are and treating them like royalty like they ought to. Um, so I say in that, um, girls watching this, um, Annie watching this, uh, you are a princess, you are beautiful, um, inside and out, and I love it. And as we talk about beauty, there's something that God started speaking to me uh, probably a month and a half ago uh, about beauty, and it comes actually from uh, 1 Corinthians 11. It's a passage I never really got um, I'll just read it off. Um, For as much as he is the image and the glory of God, um, but woman is the glory of the man. Um, I wish, and, I, and I'd be curious to know what, what women think of this. Um, because when a guy... Ah, women are so beautiful. And I just... And we, as a society, especially here in America, have destroyed... I don't know what that means, but, but women are so beautiful, and to see that, and to see the glory of a woman, um, I don't know if you guys experience this, but it is something majestic, and I just can't help but think that that passage really is how God sees mankind, um, just with this majestic understanding of the beauty that he's created. Um, I want to dive into um, physical beauty, though. Um, it's something that we've really, um, 
I don't know. I think we're scared to talk about physical beauty. So I want to talk about physical beauty right now. Uh, and I want to start with uh, a woman named Taryn Brumfit. And, uh, she's on Kickstarter. Go check it out. Um, there's a couple other cool Kickstarter projects out there. Um, maybe I'll post some links. Um, but she is uh, wants to make a documentary on um, physical beauty um, in the woman. And I think this is such a great project um, because for some reason um, we have changed our definition from um, beauty from what it should be to um, in order to be beautiful you have to be skinny, you have to be as skinny as a stick, um, your breasts have to be the right size, um, all this stuff and ah, we've missed it. Um, by the way, um, beauty is such a cultural thing. Um, if you look at um, paintings uh, throughout history, um, it's, it's, it's interesting to see what we define as beauty through the different ages and the different cultures. And even in like um, today, from one society to another, if, as you go to um, some African cities, to Europe, to um, Russia, the way people dress, the way that they accent things on their bodies is so different from place to place to place. Um, so just because you're in one place doesn't necessarily mean that that is the way that beauty really is. I'm going to challenge one of the longest standing cliches, really, um, quotes when it comes to beauty, and that is, um, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and I think that is crap. Um, hopefully I don't get too much hate mail for that. Um, but, but I think it's crap. And here's why. I think beauty is in the eye of the creator. And let me define what I mean by that. Um, so, um, I build a lot of stuff. Um, I'm a very techie guy, Annie and Jordan, as you know. Um, I have, I mean, I got computers and speakers and I got another computer on my desk here. Um, and I'm very, and I, I like putting stuff together. And and as I put it together, I love to step back after I, I've built a computer, let's say, or after I've built um, something with sound. Um, I like to step back and just admire my own creation and to admire um, how beautiful it is. And um, when I, let's say I, I just make this absolute beautiful, um, piece of sound, right? Like, I'm a, I'm a sound engineer, and, and so I come up with this just amazing song. Like, let's say I put together this just amazing song, right? Um, what right does that song have to come back to me and say, it's not beautiful? Um, I mean, that's just crazy talk, because the song is beautiful because I think it's beautiful, and it's something I love so much. Um, and so as we transition to, to really mankind, why do we have any right to do anything different? Um, God created us beautiful and perfect. What right do we have to challenge that and to say, no, you're wrong, God? And I think, I, I, and that's my wrestle. And so, um, oh, a breast is lopsided, or oh, I have too much fat, or, um, I mean, look at me. I'm not the most handsome man or most beautiful man that society would 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 call me but but man god made me and this i'm a stud i am beautiful and i think the same thing goes for women um so don't sell yourself short and and, and i think most guys guys are stupid and I and I get it. I mean, I've been there. I've done the same things that, that all guys have done. We've objectified women. And I just apologize on behalf of all men for doing that. Um, it's wrong. It is insensitive. And it is everything but love. I'm so sorry. Um, oh, but women at their core are so incredibly beautiful. And, and I'm going to go back to um, my college days. I was always... The, the weirdo in college, because when I, when I get married, and I still kind of want this, I, I have this huge desire to see my wife walk down the aisle, and I would love it, I mean, I would love it if she didn't have any makeup on. And, and here is why I say that. Um, there is something to, to makeup that can accentuate, to bring out um, some of the most beautiful things um, 
in a girl. And, and I'm all for that. I love that. But don't, don't cover up the imperfections. Don't cover up all that, that weird patch of skin that's a weird color or all that dimple or whatever. Don't cover it up because that is what makes you beautiful and that is how you were created and that's what I love. And when I, when I see a girl, that's what I want to see is the real authentic who you are because that is what's beautiful. And if you want to wear a dress that brings something out or a color that highlights the color of your eyes, I mean, go for it. I love that. But don't cover up who you are because that is just taken away from something that is beautiful. You might not know it, but it is beautiful. Those imperfections are beautiful. That's what makes you who you are, and I love it. So if it's not quite the right curve, it's not quite... <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, I hope this is making sense. Um, maybe I'm just crazy. Um, but I think women are beautiful in all shapes, in all sizes, in all imperfections and perfections alike. Um, And I hope, I hope, and I, I'm talking to all the women right now, I hope that that you'll go home and, and look in a mirror and just see the beauty in yourselves. Because it is incredible. It is incredible how God made you. And um, it's my heart to see that. It's my heart to see um, that realized. And um, maybe with a little bit of luck, we'll... Uh, we'll see a generation of women who um, aren't trying to prove something, but are just confident in who they are and know that they're beautiful and know that they're loved. And um, man, we'll see some amazing things happen when that happens. And we'll see some amazing relationships happen because of that. Um, bless you guys, I love you guys. Um, Jordan, Annie, I'm looking forward to your next videos, I love. Uh, waking up to an email saying, hey, there's a new video up, and uh, keep sharing this with your friends. People watching this, um, I want to know what you guys are thinking. Uh, if you're on board with us, if you think we're absolute crap with what we're talking about, uh, post, in the uh, post in the comments below, uh, share this, like this, um, give us a thumb down if you don't like it, uh, but let us know what you're thinking, and um, we're going to keep pushing these out, we're going to refine our vision and our hope for this. And uh, we want you to be a part of this. We want you um, viewers to be a part of what we're building here together. Um, have an amazing weekend, guys. I love you. We'll uh, see you next week.